This is a book that you can use to learn discrete mathematics. It is called Introductory Discrete Mathematics and it was written by V.K. Balakrishnan. This is a Dover book, meaning that it is a reprint of an older book and it's good quality here. It talks about the actual book, a Dover edition designed for years of use. We have made every effort to make this the best possible book. Our paper is opaque with minimal show through. It will not discolor or become brittle with age. Pages are bound in signatures and in, in the method traditionally used for the best books and will not be, will not drop out. Book open flat for easy reference. The binding will not crack or split. This is a permanent book. Yeah, these are old books that um, you can use for learning. Let me show you the topics. Here's the copyright. So this one's from 1991. Oh, this one's 1986, the Dover edition. Okay. And then here's the, the contents, set theory and logic. And this is a pretty good book. It's, it's you know, you, you can read it and understand it. Um, obviously, certain things are harder than other things, as with any math book. Um, but yeah, it's quite readable. Generating functions, recurrence relations. graphs and digraphs. So this is something that you would study uh, in a discrete math class and you would take that if you were a computer science major in college, you would have to take a discrete math class. This could serve as a good uh, second source uh, for uh, learning. You can get extra practice problems. That's probably why I bought it. It's been a while. Um, I, I, I probably bought this book when I was in discrete math. Answers to selected exercises. That's page 224. Let's look there. You can see here it does have answers to what appears to be all the odd exercises, but it's probably not quite all of them. Um, it just says selected, so there's probably a couple missing. But you can see here they did a really good job. Uh, for example, 11 is missing there. Yeah, but plenty of answers, right, for such a small book and, and an older book. I'll give it a whiff here. Mmm, smells really good. And it starts with the basics, like, um, you know, the counting stuff is really easy. The set stuff is, you know, basic stuff. Um, these are things that are worth learning, and they come up again and again in different math classes. So, uh, you know, this here, you know, relations and uh, reflexive relations, symmetric relations, transitive relations, you know, equivalence relations, uh, which we talk about here. So all this stuff is just you know of great importance. This is important mathematics that you see in uh, multiple courses. And here it talks about permutations. Uh, yeah, circular and ring permutations. I've read this actually. I've, I've read um, I think the entire first uh, chapter. Yeah, chapter one. I've read all of chapter one, I believe. It's been a while, but yep. Yeah, it's got some cool stuff, right? You see some cool mathematics in here. Remember there was, there was a, I think there was a proof in here due to Erdos. I'm pretty sure this is the book I was reading. There was some, let's see if I can find it. There was some argument here I was reading about. Yeah, here we go. We conclude this brief exposition of the pigeonhole principle with two theorems due to Paul Erdos. These theorems are due to Erdos. So let X be a set uh, containing the elements 1, 2, 3, all the way to 2n, and let S be any subset of X with n plus 1 elements. Then there are at least two numbers in S that one, such that one divides the other. So um, these theorems are due to Paul Erdos. I don't know if that's Paul Erdos's proof. Um, but that's pretty cool. Here's another theorem due to Paul Erdos. Any sequence of n squared plus 1 distinct numbers contains a subsequence of at least n plus 1 terms which is either an increasing sequence or a decreasing sequence. And the proofs are pretty um, interesting, pretty clever. You'd be like, whoa, that's cool. So maybe, maybe the proofs are due to Erdos. Erdos was a mathematical genius. Anyways, it's a cool book, um, Introductory Discrete Mathematics. If you want to learn math, I do actually have courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. But if you, um, yeah, if you check them out, use my, use my links. It'll help me, and um, I lowered the price so that the prices are low. They're actually on Udemy, but yeah, check them out through my website, mathsorcerer.com. Also, I have another channel. It's called The Fitness Sorcerer, so if you're into fitness, you can check that out. And if you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe. But yeah, this is a, a, an affordable book. Uh, I'll, I'll try to remember to leave a link in the description because this one is not expensive, and it covers a ton of mathematics. Good luck.